Okay, so right off the bat, as always, uh, quick disclaimer, this video is a total mess. <laughs> Do you like my background? I really tried. <laughs> I put in a lot of effort. Does it look good? No? Is it aesthetically pleasing? Can you tell I'm trying to salvage this video as best as I can? <laughs> cool. So a lot of people have been asking for the part three, the finale, to my solo trip video. Uh, parts one and two have been up for a while now. Part three is a difficult one. Uh, so for anyone who has watched both part one and two, you'll probably notice that in part one, it's a lot choppier. Uh, I don't talk to the camera that much. Uh, in part two, I very much warmed up to the whole idea of like vlogging, but the whole time I was filming all of my footage, I, I didn't necessarily plan to put it onto YouTube. I was kind of doing it instead of photos, I was doing it as like a video that I could watch back. Because I never look through my photo albums from Orlando, but I thought, oh, I could sit and watch like a 10 minute video. That's a joke. Um, but no, I thought I could make something that I would actually sort of appreciate a lot more. Yeah, so there, was, there wasn't a format. I didn't have any way that I was planning on filming it. Uh, and I kind of changed throughout, <laughs> even like my trip with Adam, let's be real. I just really wasn't 100% sure what I was doing with it and I didn't really have a clear direction and then when I was meeting a lot of my friends out there I didn't really want to film with them because I thought it would be awkward I've got a few shots of like some people's faces and then on this solo trip I met Adam and when I found out he was a vlogger I just thought well it's awkward if I film that <laughs> and I kind of just felt like I would show myself up. Um, but by this stage, I kind of made a lot of friends and I wasn't really on my own in the parks anymore. So I just stopped filming myself and I only really filmed the things around me or in the morning or in the evening before I did anything. Um, and not just that, but for anyone who's seen part two of my solo trip series, uh, you'll know I kind of burnt myself out. I just was doing all day at the parks, didn't plan any rest days. Watch my solo tips video, I'll link it below. I go on about that there, it's very important to do that. Um, but no, I, yeah, I just, I, I burnt out. I started spending all of my mornings in the hotel. I didn't really leave the hotel um, until about midday, but it wasn't just because I was burnt out. I was also doing Halloween Horror Nights pretty much every night uh, towards the end of the week. So it was also because I was going till like 2 a.m. So I wasn't really leaving until about midday. But because of that, part three is uh, <laughs> uh, inconsistent, shall we say, on its own without any explanation. The video uh, doesn't really make sense. <laughs> so yeah, and I was already an awkward vlogger as it was at that stage anyway. So I think what I will do is I'll talk you through it. I will show you the clips, explain what I'm doing. I don't know if it's gonna work as a format. I'm sorry if it doesn't. Uh, I should hope that I don't have to do a video like this again, but we will see. Um, but no, I hope you enjoy it. I was kinda, I was kinda hoping I could just sweep it under the rug but uh, people have been commenting for it. People have messaged me about it. People want to see it. So here it is in the best format I could give it to you in given the circumstances. Was that a sentence? No, it wasn't a sentence. But no, enjoy my solo trip part three. I'm sorry. So I overslept. <laughs> I should have been at Animal Kingdom for 9 a.m and it is now 10 to 11. So really making the most of <laughs> my final few days. Um, but I'm all showered, I'm ready. If I look sweaty, it's because of the sun cream I just lathered onto my skin. I... I'm doing Animal Kingdom today and then I'm going to Halloween Horror Nights tonight. I think I'm gonna do a bit of shopping as well. I just wanna stay in bed. I just wanna stay in bed. But I'm ready. I'm going. I'll see you there. I'll see what I film. And 
I was very much at the stage still recovering from the off day. So I was just taking it easy around Animal Kingdom, uh, just doing the things I enjoyed. Taking it chill, I had a fast pass for a Navi River journey. So that night I then went to Halloween Horror Nights with Adam. Um, it was a good night but again I didn't film it because it just felt a bit awkward filming someone that vlogs. But yeah, and that takes us on to the next day. So I keep forgetting to take the do not disturb sign off. And um, yeah, I've got to remember to take that off. But today is Typhoon Lagoon day. I'm dressed ready for Typhoon Lagoon in my like beach where need to find flip flops because don't know what I've done with them. And then I'm gonna go water park it, even though it's actually quite cold. It's not cold, but for Orlando it's cold, so I don't don't know how that's gonna go down. But it was too hot the other day, so I'm hoping what will happen is I'll get there. It'll be a bit brisk. I can keep this on if I need it, and I don't freeze. Um, if not, I guess worst case scenario, I get on a bus and I go to Magic Kingdom dressed like a douche. So I've just got to Typhoon Lagoon, and what is the least logical thing that you can do first at a water park when you're not wearing any clothes? Eat. <laughs> I ate, it was good. I also got one of these, because treat yourself. Typhoon Lagoon. <laughs> I, I know I won't be coming back. So after spending all day, all day, <laughs> at Typhoon Lagoon, uh, I then showered and changed and then went over to Magic Kingdom for the evening. Um, I had a fast pass for Buzz Lightyear. I then also had two more fast passes, so I had Pirates of the Caribbean, I think, and Splash Mountain. Um, now, this is another handy little tip. Pirates of the Caribbean, on that day in particular, I think had a 25 minute wait, which isn't a long wait. I would much rather use a fast pass on something with a lower, higher, higher wait. I would much rather use a fast pass on something with a longer wait, so I feel like I'm maximizing everything that I can. Now, on the My Disney Experience app, if I have a mediocre fast pass like Pirates of the Caribbean, I will constantly be seeing if I can change that fast pass to something better. And just by pure fluke, I think because Seven Dwarfs Mine Train was down, I don't know if a lot of people just cancelled their fast passes for it, or if they like released more because they thought, oh, people aren't going to get on it and they might be mad. I don't know how Disney works to that extent. But regardless, there was a Seven Dwarfs Mine Train fast pass. Uh, so I grabbed that, uh, got that last minute. So I did Seven Doors Mine Train. <laughs> now by pure chance, as I was walking over to Splash Mountain to use my fast pass for that, uh, I got an email from my Disney experience saying uh, that Splash Mountain was down, so I had uh, a fast pass that I could use. Uh, I could either use it later for Splash Mountain, or I could use that fast pass for any ride that I wanted to in Magic Kingdom. Um, usually, when you get those, there's some exclusions, but uh, on this one, it allowed me to do it on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, so I did it twice. <laughs> And that comes back to the whole thing in my other video as well. Like, utilize your resources. Constantly be checking my Disney experience. 
uh, and you can just get better fast passes. Obviously, don't only stay on your phone all day, but you know what I mean. Like, just check it occasionally. When you're in a line, especially when you're on your own, just keep checking the app. There's no harm in it. Gives you something to do, and it could make the rest of your holiday better. Do it. Now, I was planning to catch Happily Ever After, but the park got really busy. Uh, I think a lot of people just congregated for the fireworks more than I'd seen for the rest of the holiday and the park wasn't that busy but yeah by the time I got over to the castle it was too late to get a decent spot. Now I'm someone that I would like to see the shows more but if it's going to stress me out to see them I would rather just make them a priority another day and just spend an hour waiting for them or something like that. Like if it's going to cause you stress then it's not bettering your holiday. It just isn't. So Rather than catching the fireworks in the usual way, I decided to go on one of my favourite rides in Magic Kingdom, the People Mover. And on the People Mover, I caught a bit of the fireworks still, which is pretty cool. Now after catching the end of the fireworks on the People Mover, uh, I then met up with Adam. Now, when I'd previously been to Magic Kingdom, there was one attraction that I'd always wanted to do. Always. And just with the company I went with previously, it was never a priority. And, you know, there was that element of being slightly self-conscious about the fact that a lot of children would be in that and it's something that can require audience participation. But I wanted to do Tales of Bell. Hear me. Take me back to the day Bell and Beast fell in love. Take, Take me back, back to the day Bell and Beast fell in love. I experienced Tales of Bell for the first time. So after Tales of Bell, we then caught the end of the Once Upon a Time fireworks. Uh, we saw the kiss goodnight. And then I went back over to Universal Studios for my favourite thing about October in Orlando. <laughs> So I think this was maybe my third, maybe fourth time I went to Halloween Horror Nights on this trip. I just love it so much. So I met up with my friend Tony, we went to Halloween Horror Nights, and what follows is essentially two minutes of him being scared by everything. <laughs> Makes a nice change that it wasn't me.
treated ourselves to express passes because Halloween Horror Nights, the queues can be long. Uh, I do believe that it is possible to do the majority of the mazes in one night. I think you would be hard pushed to do it at the end of October. I don't think it's impossible, just very unlikely. But no, um, if you want to experience all the mazes and you're only going for one night, Express Passes are definitely worth the investment. They're expensive. I think they were like $179 maybe, something like that. They were a lot of money, <laughs> a lot of money. But um, it was my last night in Orlando and I wanted to do all the mazes again. So I just, I just, I splurged, but it's pricey. Uh, I think we did all of them apart from Halloween 4. And I'd done Halloween 4 twice already on that trip. And it wasn't my favorite. It was probably my least favorite. So it's fine. Didn't hate it, just wasn't my favorite. And then after that, headed to bed. It was very late. It was a very funny last night <laughs> of the trip, I will say. But I was just so done. <laughs> I was so done. I was tired. I was exhausted. I didn't learn from my lack of rest days, really. And I still very much went all night, a lot of nights. But no, so the next day, I woke up, packed my bags, uh, and then went over to Disney Springs to drop off my bags for the Virgin uh, Disney Springs check-in service. It just meant that I didn't have to worry about going back to the hotel. Um, just saves you lugging bags around, things like that. It takes a, a lot of the stress out of the final day. Uh, <laughs> dangerously so, actually. So yeah, I went over to Magic Kingdom. Uh, I caught a bit of the brass brand, Royal Friendship Fair. And I had one last in memoriam trip on the People Mover. And then I left Magic Kingdom. Well, that's it. End of Disney 2018. I'm so sad. I don't want to go. Now, I'm a dramatic person anyway, this isn't new information, but I cannot describe to you how bad I felt leaving Magic Kingdom. Like, even despite feeling ill and exhausted, like, and don't get me wrong, I, I'd had amazing times on other trips, but there was something about being at the end of a solo trip, knowing that I was leaving some friends still at the parks, a lot of the friends that I'd already met, I think Adam, Pete, they'd, they'd all flown home at this stage. But it was my turn, and then I knew, I was like, oh, I, I just, oh. There was something about this trip, I, I don't know exactly what it was, but I'd just done so much, I'd made so many friends, and it, I was just so proud of myself for doing it. And I had the best time, the best time. And yeah, I just, I really didn't want to leave. But alas, I had to, went to the airport, said goodbye to Orlando, uh, and I flew home. And that was the end of my uh, solo trip. So yeah, so I hope 
that you can embrace this mess. I'm sorry for the way it was laid out, but I'm just, I'm so done with, it, with this video. I put so much thought and time and I planned so many different things. And I just, just thought I'd sit down and explain to you what happened as if I was showing my family photos. Everyone knows how much people love that. So. If you've made it to this stage, thank you so much for watching. Um, it never goes unappreciated. I get slightly overwhelmed by all of the comments and things. It's, it's very nice to have. I would say the takeaway, if anything, from this questionable series um, is if you are thinking about a solo trip and you keep coming back to the idea of going for a solo trip, I, I just strongly encourage you to do it as long as you're safe and you're smart about how you do it. Um, yeah, I just, I cannot tell you what that's done for me in my life. I've never been at a stage where I feel so comfortable with myself. I don't know, I've just, that trip, I'm, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. Um, but no, that trip, it's just, it changes your perspective. Maybe I'm just being over dramatic and reading into it, but like, I genuinely, I feel like I came away from that trip just with this like contentment with myself. And even to the point where I've had some negative direct messages and some comments which are a bit questionable. Um, and like, they, they just kind of bounce off me at the minute. I don't know. Um, and I would, I'm, I'm a fragile being. I, I didn't think, didn't think that would be the case, but I just recommend booking the trip. It's such an empowering thing. And it, oh, it's, just, I'm so much better as a person because of this trip. Now, for any of you who stuck around all the way to this point, I have a little announcement to make. So, some of you will probably already know, I haven't exactly tried to hide it, but since I have uh, an annual pass, I know, pass holder, you see, I should use it. So, I will be going back to Orlando, and I will be there in June. Now, I've never been in June. I hear it's busier, and I hear it's warmer. Uncomfortably so, <laughs> but I'm very excited. Uh, so yeah, I'm going back in June. Uh, I'm going for two weeks. Uh, we're staying at a Disney resort. It's just one of the value ones. You know, I'm going with my friend Jodie. Uh, she doesn't have like a YouTube channel that I'm aware of, but if she's okay with me leaving her Instagram and Twitter below, they will be in the description. If you would like to follow her ahead of the holiday and get to know her a little bit, she's a lot prettier than I am. So you'll have some aesthetically pleasing presence on this channel. <laughs> I've never been to Disney with Jodie before and she hasn't been in a while so I'm really excited to watch her face as she experiences a lot of the new things that are there. Oh I'm so excited for her. If you're in Disney World early to mid-June do say hi. Um, it'd be quite nice to put some faces to names. I will say um, if you do come up and say hello bear in mind that I am there with Jodie so if you do come up and say hello to me please say hello to Jodie as well because most people did when I was there with Adam, but um, there were some encounters where people would stop to say hello to Adam and didn't really acknowledge my presence or Adam would quite often go, oh, and this is Sam, you'll see him in the vlogs and they'd just be like, oh, yeah. And then that, that was all I got. So just make an effort with Jodie as well, please. That would be nice. <laughs> I know people will be able to assume vaguely, but... Um, I hope you don't mind me not saying the resort or the exact dates that I'm going. Uh, I've just had some concerning uh, direct messages on Instagram and it's just made me a bit more wary of what I share at the minute. So yeah, but like I say, if you see me in the parks, come say hello, it'd be cool. I already know I'm gonna hate editing all this together. Uh, I'm aiming for Monday. Let's see if it goes up on Monday. Was it a no? That did it not go up on Monday? Okay. <laughs> uh, hoping to have a new video for you pretty soon. Don't expect it like in a week, <laughs> but soonish. All right, I think this video has gone on long enough for <laughs> how unbearable some of the moments have been. So thank you very much for watching. Um, 
I hope you don't mind the mess. <laughs> Should we put it that way? Uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I've given up on this video, if I'm being honest with you. I've given up. This is how it's gonna be. It's not my finest work, but we got there, so cool. And now I have half an hour to get ready and leave for work. Bye!